We all heard that the average generation iPhone has not power on problem with unknown reason. Today we will repair an iPhone 12 Pro that can't power on. This video will show how to diagnose and repair, and hope this video could help you a lot. This iPhone 12 Pro has a perfect physical condition. We tried but the can't power on. Now let's start repairing. Unbolt two pentalobe bottom screws. Adjust the rolling hot air gun to 100 Celsius degree. Hit around the screen for one minute for easier separating. After heating, insert knife and pre up screen. Slide around the screen with a plastic crowbar to separate the screen. Then remove metal shield above the screen connector. From preliminary overview, board has no trace of water damage. Let's test the board electric current with a DC power supply. Switch to mini ampere gear. Electric current pointer swing but can't go up anymore, so the phone won't power on. For further deep inspection, let's take motherboard out from back housing. Now we try to power on motherboard with a DC power supply. Long press power pin for 3 to 4 seconds. Electric current pointer swings slightly, but still can't power on. The board itself has a problem. Inspect the motherboard carefully, but can't find any damage occurring. Now we put motherboard under microscope and check again. Still can't find any problems. So we have to diagnose through rounds of testing. Test the motherboard power supply circuit with multimeter. We found this capacitor has short circuited. We can look at this C2913 filter capacitor with board diagram and confirm the capacitor has a short circuit problem. Now that the problem happens around the hard disk, then we don't need a separate board this time. If you don't have a diagram at hand, we suggest you use Rosen dispenser to locate the faulty component. Open dispenser cap. Put the rosin pieces in. Press power button. Then we can see these rosin pieces start melting. Put the cap on and press dispenser power button. Move dispenser model around the faulty components to make sure rosin cover on them. Apply 3.6 volt on this power supply circuit. We can see one of the capacitor melt immediately. Then it's the short circuited capacitor. And it's the reason why iPhone not power on. Because it's a hard disk 2.65 volt filter capacitor, we can remove it directly without any problem. Now let's test the power supply circuit again. The resistance value has back to normal. Connect the motherboard with a DC power supply. Electric current keep going up and the board can power on now. Clean all residual rosin on motherboard. Assemble the board back to iPhone. Power on and insert the SIM card. Test the major functions one by one. All of them works well. Install screen and bolt two bottom screws back. Then we complete the repair. For iPhone 12 series, not a power on problem is very common that technicians meet frequently. If the phone has similar electric current symptom, 
but wasn't cracked or not water damaged. Please refer this troubleshoot and repair solution. Please subscribe our channel and see you in next video.